Hello, awesomeness junkies. Welcome to Hustle is for Life Motivation. I am Talal, your host. And first of all, I want to ask you a question, okay? Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, come on, you really got to subscribe because you know that this is where you come to upgrade the software between your ears. This is where you come to actually get that boost of awesome awesomeness vitamins so you can actually start to accelerate your life okay simply because like me you believe that you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with and by having the right people in your life you can start to accelerate your life simply because you can just follow in their footsteps and achieve the same result and the same level of success that they have been able to achieve so make sure you go right down there and subscribe okay just pause the video if you haven't subscribed yet go there and hit that button right now also, I'm doing something really awesome for you guys. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a link below in the description of the video to Calendly Invites, okay? It's called Calendly Invites. If you click on that link, it will allow you to book a uh, appointment with me, a 15 minute one-to-one -one appointment with me, one-to-one -one call for 15 minutes uh, until the end of June, okay? So you can pick the time, you can pick the day, it's all there, and I'm gonna give you 15 of my, um, uh, 15 minutes of my time. You can ask me any question about anything, whether that's uh, about any of the guests, anything, <coughs> sorry, to do with uh, personal development, to do with networking, anything that you feel I can help you with, or any other questions you might have, you can actually reach out to me directly, and we can jump on a call, and I can actually talk to you directly on a one-to-one -one basis. So make sure you go down below and click on calendar invites and actually book an appointment for yourself and I'm more than happy to jump on a call with you. I love to connect with you guys and also to help you out with whatever it is that you are struggling with. That's my mission here. That's what my goal is. I generally want to connect with you guys and just 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 want to know what you're up to and is there if there's anything I can actually help you with. Now, guys, today's guest is somebody very, very special. And uh, actually, this is our second run at this thing because guess what? <laughs> last, time, last time we did this um, for you guys and guess what? the system went wrong. I don't know, there was an update incoming or whatever, and it just went wrong, and it didn't record the sound from Jeremy's side. It just recorded the sound from my side. So we had to reschedule and redo the whole thing. And, uh, you know, I apologize for that, to both to Jeremy and to you guys, that I wasn't able to do this before, and, and the system kind of messed up. But the update, it has been updated since, and uh, hopefully it will go smoothly this time. Right, so... <laughs> Into the introduction. Today's guest is uh, a true adventurer at heart. Now, he f actually founded the Tallahassee Adventure Club, where community leaders with extensive travel and adventure experience are willing to share their appreciation of the outdoors through club initiatives and leadership-inspired activities. Now, we're going to dive deep into that and, and talk a little bit more um, because it's some really, really awesome stuff that Jeremy is doing out there, uh, and I really want to kind of expose you guys to, to all of that. Now he's also, uh, <coughs> sorry, while he's actually doing this, he's not compensated for his work with the Tallahassee uh, Adventure Club. And he actually sacrifices much of his own personal time um, when he's off and also a considerable uh, you know, amount of his work leave to drive the initiative of the foundation. Now he has traveled to 27 different countries. Yes, you heard that right, 27 different countries. And his accompli accomplishments include climbing some of the world's tallest mountains, including, I know I'm gonna slay this completely because I'm never gonna be able to pronounce his names right, but I'm gonna do my best. Volcano Aken uh, Akatenago, which is 13,044 feet. Pico de Orizaba, which is 18,491 feet. Mount a con Kangua, which is 22,838 feet, and Mount Kilimanjaro, which is 19,341 feet. He also has experience of multi-day hiking on Pacific Coast Trail, um, and also the Appalachian Trail and the Continental Divide Trail. Alongside this, he also has experience of multi-day backpacking trips throughout Alaska, uh, Montana, Colorado, and California. He started his journey working on the flight deck of an aircraft carrier in the US Navy called Kitty Hawk. Awesome name, by the way, love it, it's great. Um, but now he works as an arson investigator and a firefighter for the Tallahassee Fire Department. His main drives in his life are his faith and his five-year-old daughter. Um, and he shares his message to experience the rad of the na nature, both local and international. 
And I just want to, you know, um, say one thing that, uh, you know, Jeremy has been really, really kind to actually jump on this interview for the second time with me to, you know, make time from his actual very busy schedule to be here with us. So I really, really appreciate it. So please help me in welcoming the ranger of this beautiful blue dot that we call home, Jeremy Rogers. Jeremy, thank you so much for being here, man. I really appreciate uh -huh. it. <laughs> Thanks, man. I think you did a you did a wonderful job on that introduction. By the way, those names are um, very difficult to pronounce for me. So, and I've actually been there. So it's um, it's pretty wild. Yeah, I'm just uh, honored and and blessed. And thank you for your friendship first and foremost. And um, I'd like to say Happy Father's Day. It's Father's Day here in in the U.S. And um, oh, yeah. so I'd like to say Happy Father's Day to everybody abroad and uh, here at home um, listening and watching. Awesome. Yeah. Happy Father's Day, guys. That's true. It is Father's Day here today as well in UK. I'm from the UK. Um, so yeah, awesome, man. Um, the fact is those names are pretty hard to for pronounce and I try to do my best and I apologize <laughs> uh, in advance in case I absolutely, you know, just got absolutely slated them. Um, my apologies. But yeah, I try to do my best. <laughs> okay. No, you, you did fine. You did fine. Awesome, man. <laughs> awesome. Now, first of all, here's the thing. Um, Every time, you know, um, I see your name, I want to call you Steve Rogers. So I don't know if you just want me to call you Captain America for the rest of the interview. <laughs> is his name Steve? <laughs> yeah, his name is Steve Rogers. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. And that's a, that, those are big shoes to fill. Um, <laughs> I did yeah. actually just get back from, um, I guess, SR day enemy um which is um supposedly russia right like i just went and climbed europe's tallest mountain oh, wow. uh, mount elbrus which is like eighteen thousand five hundred and ten feet oh wow um and uh, you know i was just a i tell you how things how perspective is right and you know in the u.s like you just get bombarded with a lot of media i'm, I'm sure it's probably pretty similar in the uk yeah. but um you know i had a lot of these preconceived notions um heading into um, Russia, like they wouldn't have been friendly to me because specifically because I was from the U.S. Mm. And that's anything. I mean, they, they couldn't have been more warm, kind, welcoming, funny, friendly. Um, and uh, truthfully, I can't wait to go back. And that's oh, wow. just it's just such a, that's one of the most beautiful things about traveling, my friend. And I'm sure, you know, um, it's it's, you know, you don't know really until you get there. Mm. And it I mean, it takes a for a u.s citizen to go to russia it takes some pretty big uh yeah you gotta be pretty <laughs> but um i'm here to tell everybody um it couldn't have been anything um but more perfect it was wonderful awesome. i really enjoyed it awesome awesome yeah no you are right there's a bit of a, i think um a bias in the media um with uh with with russia um and uh you know especially these kind of like patriotic heroic kind of you know movies and and other shows etc where you know russia is usually portrayed as the bad guy uh, and you're right it is far from the yeah. truth. I, I, i've i've um there's a, there's a russian lady that i work with um at my workplace and uh, yeah she she's just so awesome so kind of you know accepting and and yeah just she's she she's not bothered by you know all that kind of stuff and and she she never even brings it up she just just carries on and it's pretty awesome man yeah that's the the one um the one pol political conversation I had while we were there right. and um it went a lot like this i told this story yesterday it was that we just don't care <laughs> that, I was, love it. <laughs> that was it it was like we just go to work yeah yeah exactly yeah i was like man how how often or how awesome would it be if if we were you know in the, in the sense of not we just don't care but like we just weren't Whatever. I don't know. I don't want to steer this in, in the in the wrong way. But I just thought that that was really beautiful in the sense mm. that, you know, they just they don't have time to get into the gossip and the, and the politics of, yeah. Of, yeah. of stuff that they have yeah. zero control of. And neither do we, you know, on this level. So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome, man. Well, that's really good to hear. I'm glad that your trip went well. Um, and uh, I thank think you. I think what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll quickly just talk about you know how we originally got connected and just dive straight into the questions. And uh, for people who are watching this, yeah. uh, Jeremy and I initially got connected through a mutual friend. Um, his name is Tra Travis Bergeron, and I've already interviewed him 
before. He's an entrepreneur. He runs his own uh, kind of like uh, media agency, and uh, he he's he's just such an awesome guy, such such a you know big heart. And uh, he is the one who actually connected me and Jeremy in the first place, and and that's how we got connected. Mm-hmm. Um, we are both part of the same kind of online community and uh, one of the community initiatives is where you know they interview their members who um, actually have achieved you know something really great or who actually contribute most towards the community and uh, Jeremy was the very first interview that they did and uh, that's how I actually originally got introduced to Jeremy uh, and who he was and what he was up to oh. yeah yeah so that's how we originally got connected. thanks man yeah, no, it was uh, it was awesome to actually hear everything that you that you're up to. So we'll we'll d- kind of dig deep into that in a little bit. Yeah, cool. that was it was crazy. I still remember um, when um, I think it was um, it was either Chung or Travis reached out to me and they're like, right. "Would you be willing to do um, the first interview?" And I was looking at that and I was like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like. Uh, Yes, yes, of course. Of course. Of course. Awesome, man. Awesome. Uh, I'm still I, yeah. I'm, I'm honored to be here, man. That's great. It's, it's great to have you, brother. It's great to have you. Right. So let's uh, let's kind of dig deep into um your your accomplishments and your life because you you've done a lot, my friend. I mean, you, you first of all started off by serving in the US Navy, right? Um, and then yeah, now yeah. You, you, you're now an adventure junkie, right? Um, and yes, you are also yes. an arson investigator and a firefighter and yeah. you are climbing some of the tallest <laughs> mountains in the world. So how does yeah. someone goes from serving in the US Navy to becoming an adventure junkie yeah. who's actually climbing some of the tallest mountains in the world? Yeah, so I, I can add something else to that list. I just okay. launched my first for for profit business this um, this oh, last wow. Wednesday. It was hey, called, congratulations! Yeah, it's called Tots awesome. and Trails. Yeah, yeah, I'm really excited about that. Brilliant. Um, yeah, it's uh, no longer working for free in a sense. You know, <laughs> it's a it's a whole new world. I'm actually paying people. Um, but yeah, so my stories can. Um, uh, maybe it's unique. It's um, I've been told that it's it's a pretty uh, profound story. I, I was, um, you know, I, I was from very humble beginnings. Um, my father was actually killed before I was born. Um, my biological mom, um, yeah, she gave me up for adoption, um, and not technical legal adoption, but um, you know, twice I, I went out of her care and, and never really went back to it. And so it was a, it was the it was a community of of people that kind of made sure I didn't get out of bounds, you know, so I kind of had to raise myself in a sense. And, um, you know, nobody was waking me up in the morning telling me, you know, hey, you had to, uh, you you need to go to school today. You know, nobody was saying, hey, um, you know, this isn't, you know, you should, you should, you should plan on going to college. Like nobody was, 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 was forming that. I I did a lot of that from um, looking around at my surroundings and adapting and overcoming. And so the reason why I joined the United States, States Navy was one. I um, loved the movie Top Gun, and um, there's this whole nice. hilarious story that goes along with that. Um, recruiter's office, and I, I was like Top Gun. It's like, oh, you're gonna be like Top Gun, you know? They they get everybody, you know. And uh, um, you know, I ended up working on the flight deck, and it was um, that's that's a story I, we should tell at another time. But yeah, so I was in the Navy, and I worked on the flight deck of an. Um, of an aircraft carrier, which is a surreal experience. I'd never um, been anywhere. Um, I've been, you know, out of the state of Missouri probably two times, and neither times I could really, really remember. Um, you know, I went to, I think, um, Oklahoma, and I think I went to Iowa for um, some sort of wrestling camp or something like that, right. um, which they both, Oklahoma and Iowa look just like Missouri, by the way. Right. <laughs> I could have just stayed in Missouri. Um, and, um, yeah, so my uh, I have the opportunity to travel the world and um, get paid a little bit of money, and so I was all over it, and um, that's really where the adventure began. Was was um, was right then and there, in 1998, when I when I signed up, and it was bon voyage. <laughs> little did I know how much work I was going to have to do. <laughs> oh wow, wow, awesome man! That's an incredible story, and and the fact is, you know. Um, First of all, congratulations on launching your business. Uh, that's awesome. Ah, thank you. Uh, we'd love to hear more about it in a sec. And uh, also the fact that you know you touch upon the fact that you 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 had a pretty uh, rough past 
And, uh, you know, it's incredible yeah. what you've been able to achieve despite, you know, all of that. And I can definitely relate because, uh, you know, I, I didn't have a very glorious past either. And I, I come from very, very humble beginnings as well. Um, so I know, you know, how that can kind of condition you and uh, kind of, you know, put you in a very fixed mindset. And also you, you start to, um, in a sense, crumble from the inside. It's very, very difficult to you know, be able to go out and, you know, push the limits and see what you're really, truly capable of because you're so constricted by what's happened in the past and you're kind of trapped there. Yeah. So it's uh, it's incredible, man, yeah. what you've been able to achieve despite that. And uh, it's awesome that you were able to travel the world. Um, and uh, now, you know, you've come so far and you actually launched your own business, which is uh, fantastic, which yeah. is amazing. Um, and maybe you can yeah. actually, we, we'll, we'll go there actually. Why, why don't you actually talk to us a little bit about your business and what, what that's all about? Yeah. So, um, I think it would make the most sense if, um, you know, I just kind of told the story of like the Tallahassee adventure club. And so I created, um, the reason why I, I attribute, you know, my success to number one, my faith, um, and, um, number two, my time spent, um, being adventurous and in the outdoors mm. and, um, when I moved to Tallahassee, um, I actually moved here from like one of the most beautiful places in the world. And it was, um, Tallahassee was very much a culture shock to me. I mean, I had to, um, you know, I was no longer skiing every day and bartending at night. You know, I was no longer hiking during the day and waiting tables in national parks. Like I actually had to go to like, go to like a normal, like a normal job. I had to go to college. I had like, I had to pay a car payment. I had like all these responsibilities. And I was like, super super um focused on that but i missed my life so much i missed it terribly and i thought it was um i thought that if i you know if i if i work really hard in this world right and i um i get the college degree and i buy the home and i land the good job and i have the family and all of that and i live on the right side of town um that i was going to be happy and the truth is is um after i acquired all of that i I was literally sitting in my house in my beautiful home and uh, I, I felt like I got punked, man. I won the middle class lottery. There's no question about it. I was very successful and, but I was extremely unhappy. And so I just, I, it, you know, I just, I, I hit rock bottom, essentially. I hit rock bottom brother. And I dove in, man, I dove inside. And, and instead of, in, instead of like, wasting away and and continue to make mistakes and continue to try and acquire things i was yeah. like no take some time yeah. and so i started meditating mm. i started um you know eating healthy i started working out i just really started working on, on me and what i found out was that when i was the most happiest is when i was outside challenging myself mm. so um then there wasn't a, there wasn't any sort of like I didn't have any friends that really did that here right and so I was yeah. searching for this community and I was looking and looking all around and that community just did not exist and so I decided in that moment I was gonna I was gonna stop everything um, stop everything and I was gonna be the change I wanted to see and there's um, there's this like total spiritual story when I was in Central America that's associated with that but um, I. I tend to ramble, so I'll try and stay focused this interview. And, um, you know, and, and once I decided that I wanted to be the change I wanted to see, I, I thought, okay, what are you good at, right? And so I was really good at travel and adventure, right? So, and I knew I had a story to tell, so I started um, telling my story, and it was so difficult. I mean, it was on the news. I've been in the newspapers, magazines, all of this stuff. And um, then I started getting a following and people started, hey, man, you know, that's cool. Like, tell me more about that. And then, you know, we started we started blowing up and essentially and we've got a really great name. And so what the Tallahassee Adventure Club is, we're an outdoor leadership school that provides experiential education to the community. So that looks a lot like if you were in, you know, ninth grade, we would come to your science class and then we would teach you about kayaking on like the one of the most beautiful rivers in the state of Florida, right? And we've talked to you about the ecology, the biology, um, the science and the sport of kayaking. And we would each tell our stories and about how um, like adventure has made us better people. Nice. And so with that being said, um, something that spun off is that I really, really, um, my passion for kids, 
like I have like I have a like unbelievable passion for for children and inspiring them in nature nature. And so I decided to come up with this uh, my first true blue business um, outside of the nonprofit realm um, called Tots and Trails. And our slogan is this, we're planting tiny seeds and tiny hearts. And, and that's exactly it, man. We're providing nature programming for, um, for children ages four through six. And we take them out on um, interpretive nature hikes. Nice. We do some sort of art and craft. And then nice. we finish up with um, conflict re- resolution, um, breathing exercises, and yoga at the very end. And uh, we just did our first school on Wednesday. And it was a complete success. I'm so stoked. Uh, <laughs> Whew, I'm so stoked. That was a mouthful, but that's that's what I'm up to. Awesome, man. That's fantastic. That that sounds really, really amazing. And not just the fact that you've launched a business, but the business that's actually going to try and make a real impact in the community. And you know everything. Oh that you, yeah, yeah, no yeah. Question. And and what you what you've talked about before as well, like you know some of the things that you hold most dear to yourself are personal development, you know, growth, progress, making an impact. And those are exactly the same values that I have. Like if you look at my, you know, five core values, they are, you know, faith, love, growth, progress, impact in that order. So I have, you know, very, very similar values. And I totally appreciate like exactly what you're trying to do to make a difference in the community, to make a, you know, difference in those kids' lives. Um, And I can, I can actually understand the kind of, you know, uh, the, the kind of, you know, um, happiness that it'll bring to you and the fulfillment that it will bring to you. Oh. Yeah, I know. Oh. I know. It's, it's awesome because like, I, I'll, um, uh, you know, I can, I can even build, you know, I'm working like, um, like a man that has his head on fire and needs to find a lake, you know, like that is <laughs> like, I am truly, truly working that hard because of this man. And yeah. this is like my personal, this is my personal mantra is like mm. in my faith really comes into play here and and i believe this down to my bone marrow man and um the truth is is that i know when it's all said and done right when you and i lay down at the transition Mm -hmm. right when it's time for us to transition over like we are going to get this question like from the creator whoever it is for you i know who it is for me you know and but it doesn't matter that that creator i promise you is going to ask you the same thing yeah and he's going to say he or she's going to say um you know what did you do with my time Hmm. And I'm going to be able to look back at he, she, whoever it is, right? And I'm going to be able to say that I positively impacted as many people on planet Earth as humanly possible. And I'm not done until I can say that. So this mission is forever. Nice. This is forever. And I take that so serious. Um, so I have, you know, I'm good at adventure in the outdoors. So that's where I'm going to play for now. But uh, I'm always into acquiring new skills. So. Awesome, man. That's so powerful. That's really, really powerful and really, really beautiful what you said there. Um, and the passion, you know, just kind of radiates off you. Literally, I'm sitting here, I'm looking at the smile on your face for ear to ear and just the passion in your voice. Like, it's awesome, man. It's great. And I'm getting charged up just, just by listening to you. And people who are watching this, like, you know, Jeremy is, I, I, you know, he's just dropped some real bombs here. Like the fact that, you know, it's about making an impact. It's about making a change. It's about leaving a legacy behind, right? And that's where it comes down to. Like you have to serve a purpose that is bigger than yourself. Because if you just serve yourself, you will never acquire true fulfillment, happiness, or satisfaction. True fulfillment, happiness, or satisfaction comes from actually serving a purpose that is higher than yourself, where you're actually serving others, okay? Look at, that, look at the history. Come on, look at the history books, okay? Mother Teresa, okay? Um, Malcolm X, um, like all the greats are of, of the world. Who am I forgetting here? Gandhi. I'm forgetting Gandhi here. Martin, um, Martin Luther King. I'm, I'm gonna forgetting some really big names. You know, this is shame on me. But seriously, like look at those big names. The reason they're in the history books is because they positively impacted the lives of other people. They served a purpose higher than themselves. So really, really powerful stuff, some real gold. Like if you subscribe to the channel for this reason only, then awesome, you really should. This is the only reason, like, you know, what, what Jeremy said there is just mind-blowing, super awesome, super powerful, and I really wanted to highlight that for you guys. Um, so thank you, Jeremy. That was, that was beautiful, man. That was awesome. And, uh, thank you, brother. I met you. Yeah, no, all the best with your business. Um, and, uh, you know, if there's uh, anything that we can do to help, please let us know, you know. Please let us know what, what the people can do to help you right now, what I can do to help you right now as well. 
Yeah, you can go to tab, TallahasseeAdventureClub.com and go up to the corner and hit donate. And um, we're looking for millions of dollars. So if you have any of that laying around, um, we'll gladly take it. <laughs> <laughs> I promise we'll be good stewards of the money. <laughs> Beautiful. Awesome, man. Awesome. That's great. Um, I'll make sure that I'll put those links below in the description of the video. So anybody who's interested, they can go Thanks. and check out exactly what you're up to, your business, and the Tallahassee Adventure Club, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. I'll put it all below in the description of the video. So guys, if you're watching this, go below in the description of the video um, and check those links out. And also reach out to Jeremy. I mean, come on. Look at this guy. He Please came... Do, yeah. Yeah, he came from a very, you know, rough, challenging background and look what he's trying to do now. He's trying to make a real impact in the world um, and even through his business. His business is not just like to earn lots of money. His purpose is to actually give back to the community. And that's, he launched a business after serving the community for years and years and years, you know, for, with, with, um, with a nonprofit. So he's only launching this after years of service. So yeah, man, kudos to you and uh, awesome. Well done, brother. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you so much. All right. Awesome. Let's, um, let's kind of um, go in a different direction. I like going in different directions in the interview, jumping all over the place. Um, let's go in a slightly let's different direction. It. Yeah. So you obviously go and climb some of the really, you know, um, tallest mountains in the world. And, you know, that it, I'm, I'm pretty sure is super challenging. I've never climbed any like mountains or anything no. like that. So yeah. I, I, I can't. Uh, imagine what it like how hard it could be or how challenging it might be but I'm pretty sure it's like really really challenging and really really hard so my question is what sort of mental preparations do you do in order to you know have to be able to achieve such hairy big audacious goals and literally risking your life to be able to go and you know climb that mountain it's um it's 90 percent mental I'll tell you right now it's it's 90 percent mental right um that mountain starts kicking your butt the minute the minute you um, you leave your the comfort of your home. Mm. Like that mountain's already playing middle games with you when you start packing, my friend. I mean, it it, <laughs> it gets deep when you start packing your bags. You know that that big, sexy thing, gnarly, <laughs> aggressive, um, beautiful, sweet, loving dangerous, violent, um, you know, just a everything you could want is on that mountain and, and it's ready for you and nice. you've got to be ready for it. Yeah. I love the There's, variety of that mountain is ready. you use there. <laughs> yeah. That mountain is ready for you. So you better be ready for it. And so that, that mental game, it, that mental game starts the, the day that you decide that you're going to go there and climb it. Mm. You better be ready yeah. you're, uh, or you're going to die. Wow. Or you're going to – and here's the thing. If you're not ready, hmm. there's a really high probability that you'll die. And then, you know, these places at this point, um, a lot of times they have mountain rescue. So, um, you know, you're going to put mountain rescue – like they have lives and families. You know, yeah. so if you weren't prepared, you're going to put them in danger as well. So it's a it's a big – it's a big-time butterfly effect. But, yeah, so um, I meditate. Um, I double and triple check, you know um, – I, I pay attention most. I mean, I really, really focus and pay attention to what I'm doing when I'm there. Um, but it hadn't always been like that. Uh, <laughs> you've got to make nice. some mistakes and, uh, you've got to make some mistakes and learn. Um, I've almost died, um, oh, you know, boy. a couple of times. Wow. And, um, I learned, I learned almost died in Mexico actually. No way. Full on cliffhanger. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Wow. And nobody was there. I would have been there for several days. I would have been there. Oh, my word. I full on, um, I, I slipped. I literally slipped off the side of a mountain and was charging down the, um, uh, the, the face of it, uh, an ice oh face word. sliding down. Wow. And um, I had to use my ice axe to dig in. And, and once I finally arrested, um, I needed to go left to get out of the danger zone. And I went right because I was at altitude and I wasn't thinking right. So, <laughs> Um, you know, <laughs> I was farther away from, you know, my exit and, um, wow. then I slipped and fell it again. Oh. And, um, at that, at that time, um, if, if I would have fallen any farther, I would have fell probably about 60 to 70 feet, which would have been probably donezo for me. Minimum, 
you know, trauma alert. I was definitely going to take a helicopter ride to say the very minimum. Not too many people survive a 60 foot fall. So yeah. Wow. That would have been, insane. and that was my bad. I mean, that was me. I just wasn't paying attention. It was completely preventable. Um, I needed to be, um, I had a, a few mountains under my belt at that point and I was pretty confident. I was mm. kind of cocky and I got served up and I deserved that. Um, and I failed and I'm proud to admit it. I, I have to go back and finish that job and, um, it just is what it is, but um, I'm looking forward to the next time I can get back in the ring with it. That's for sure. <laughs> awesome, man. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. But wow. What a story, right? Like, as you were saying it, like I was trying to picture what it would feel like to be there and, and go through that experience. And I was literally getting goosebumps. So yeah, that's, yeah, uh, was, that's a powerful story, man. Yeah. It was in the middle of the night. It was yeah. about zero degrees. Wow. Um, I mean, it was. I had ice burns on my face from when I was sliding down the face of the oh, mountain, man. screaming, Yeah, screaming. At one point, I was hung, like, at my trekking pole. I was It broke off, and I was hung, like, by just a sh- shard of metal. Oh, it's, bro. um, yeah, I've, I've, I've blogged about it. I'll have to send you, I'll have to send you the, the story on that. But that's, like I said, like, yeah. I needed to fail, mm. um, to take the rest because I've come so far mm. because I failed. I, I came so far um, and mountains, man. So let's just, let's just be real. Like, why am I climbing mountains? Like, listen, I, I'm not particularly like, I don't have this, like, I don't want to be the, you know, the Michael Jordan of mountain climbing. It just does something for me. And it also does something for, um, it's kind of a unique thing to do. So it's going to give me a platform, right? Yeah. Um, when I complete, I'm climbing the seven summits. So I'm climbing the highest point on each continent. And wow. that platform that it gives me um, when I'm finished, when I'm done with this, like it's going to be supernatural. I'm going to be able to um, help so many people mm. when I'm finished with this. It's going to be fantastic. And I can't wait. I'm already helping a ton of people. Yeah. But yeah. when you, I think I'll be like one of 110 Americans or less to have ever completed this challenge. Oh, wow. So once you start getting, that's amazing. Yeah. Once you get into that arena, I mean, you have um, your platform, you know. You start getting asked to do beautiful interviews with beautiful people like yourself, and you know, <laughs> I appreciate that. Brother. Thank and, you. You know, it's 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 really it's. I'm doing this 100 percent so I can help others. It isn't because I need it. Like I'm good. Mm. Um, like if I just didn't do anything and shut up, like I'd be fine. Like me and my daughter, we ride off in the sunset, we win. Mm. But that's not the purpose of life. That that at least for me. Yeah. Like. Yeah. I'm gonna go help some people. Yeah. What are you going to do? Exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, no, totally. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, this is exactly what we were talking about before. Like, you ha- it's, it's about serving a purpose that's bigger than yourself, right? And it's through helping oh, others. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's through helping others. Um, and it, yeah, and, and I think that's one of the common themes between every single faith, um, every single type of belief system that, you know, they all promote helping others. So, yeah, no, definitely, man. Oh, I, uh, oh, I got that. Everybody's saying the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Right. So, okay. So let's kind of build on that. You've obviously done a lot of traveling. Okay. Um, and like you said, you travel to like 27 countries and climb some of the like tallest mountains in the world. My question to you is how has that changed you as a person? How has that affected you as a person? Well, I've had to, um, I've had to learn, um, because like now that I've, um, well, first of all, I had to like, I had always lived in the mountains and I'd hiked and snowboarded and anything. But I never. All right, sorry guys, there was a bit of a connection problem there. Uh, I think we've managed to resolve that. Um, unfortunately, that's what happens with these long distance calls. Um, but uh, we, we think we're okay, so we're going to carry on. Sorry, Jeremy, can you, can you carry on uh, just talking about uh, uh, how, how actually you know, climbing those mountains and doing, doing all the traveling actually affected you as a person and changed you as a person? Yeah, no problem. So I had to, squ- um, I had to acquire a whole new set of skills. I would... Um, pretty much um, had lived in the mountains for a very long time and done lot multi-day backpacking. And I've hiked up a few mountains, mm. but I hadn't ever climbed anything of substantial um, of substantial altitude like I'm, I'm getting at now. So I had to learn about, you know, 
you know, self-arresting. I had to learn about like what to pack, the different types of tents, like this whole, I had to learn a whole new vocabulary. Um, another thing I had to learn, which I didn't have was how to tell a story, mm. right? Because people started, you know, the news started calling the, um, you know, I started doing uh, magazines and, 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 and I didn't want to sound like a complete, you know, goofball. And so I had to learn, I had to, just kind of keep hanging in there and keep, um, I didn't know how to talk to, I'd never been on TV. Why would I ever have been on TV? You know, like, why are you putting me on TV right now? You know, yeah, yeah. like that was all like super, super nerve wracking and very nervous. Um, I was super nervous and um, I had to, I had to be okay with um, talking about failure and I had to be okay with talking about success. And I had to be talking of, you know, the roller coaster that comes with that. So um, mountaineering had changed my life for the, for the better so much. And then when you're on the mountain, right? I mean, I'm, I'm kind of going off on a rant here. You know, you go through uh, a litany of things. Like I said, that mountain starts messing with you the minute you commit. Mm. Can I do it? Is this thing going to kill me? Mm. You know, do I have the right stuff? Yeah. God, I hope I didn't forget that jacket. Yeah. You know, when I was climbing Kilimanjaro, I'm like, you know, I've, I've done lots of stuff by this point. When I, when I got to Kilimanjaro, I left. I got to Kilimanjaro um, in November and November is their rainy season. And I have like the best rain gear like ever. Like it's, it's the dopest. It's the raddest. Like this is the rain gear you want. It never made it. So I showed up in Africa without rain gear. Oh my word. Wow. Yeah. That made for for a long week Um, (laughs) and a wet week. (laughs) So uh, no matter uh, how polished you think you are, brother, that mountain, it, it finds a way. It finds a chink in your armor. Yeah. Um, this last mountain, um, uh, Elbrus in Russia, um, you know, my phone, my, my, my beautiful phone. And it never used to have a case, but it does now, baby. But I broke it the first day I was there. <laughs> so all my music, my audiobooks, and all of this, um, that was gone. Like nothing worked. Um so I had to like, I literally counted like on Elbrus, like I counted to 500, like, and then I would start over at one and I count to 500 just to preoccupy my mind yeah. and give me something to do for hours on end that you were just like, whew, it was brutal. It was brutal. So, you know, I like to listen to some tunes every now and then when I'm on break or, yeah. or you know, yeah. um, take a selfie or whatever, you know, <laughs> get some stuff for Facebook. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I didn't have it, man. I didn't wow. have it. And wow. I just... I just had to deal. Wow, that's amazing. That's awesome. Um, and you know, you're right. The fact that you know you can't predict what what will happen. You can you know do the best you can in terms of your preparation, but you don't really know what's gonna, what's going to happen there. I mean, what if your luggage doesn't even arrive at the airport? Then what you're going to do? You know, it's things like that. Or, or yeah. your, your phone, your phone just you know it, it just kind of slips and it, and it falls and it breaks. Then what you're going to do then? So yeah, I mean, you can you can prepare the best you can, but it's it's. Um, it's about being resourceful in those moments and making sure that you are prepared mentally to deal with such challenges. And you're absolutely right. You know, when you said that it's, um, it's, it's mainly mental, that's, um, that's really powerful. The fact that, you know, you need to prepare yourself on the inside more than you, what you can prepare outside because you can only do so much on the outside, but mentally you really need to be prepared to deal with anything. So, yeah. Yeah, that's really powerful, man. Awesome stuff. Okay, so you, again, going back to the fact that you've done a lot of traveling in your life. Um, yes. An, an amazing accomplishment that is. You've traveled to like 27 countries at this point. What is the number one lesson or observation that you have made from your traveling? Oh, we're all the same. We're all the same. We all want the same thing, man. Um, you know, we want to just go to work. Um, you know, we want to have shelter. Um, we want to, you know, put food on our tables. We want to, um, we want to have loving families. Mm. Um, we're no different. It's, it's these, it's this media and it's these governments and it's all this propaganda. And I'm not a conspiracy theorist in any way, shape, you know, but they breed fear. Mm. And if something is different, it's going to require change. And people are afraid to change um, because it's uncomfortable. Quite frankly, change is difficult. Change is uncomfortable. And so people don't like to get out of their comfort zone a whole heck of a lot. And then, you know, you have these governments and you have this media telling you that it's dangerous over there and they're bad people and like all this phobia, you know, um, you 
I don't blame people. I might just be a little bit crazy. I know I'm a little bit crazy, but I'm better <laughs> for it. Yeah. Um, I'm better for it. I, I don't think my frontal lobe developed all the way. I'm pretty <laughs> certain about that. Like, <laughs> I've done some wild, wild things um, in every sense of the word. But, you know, this is, you know, in Costa Rica, they have this, you know, Pura Vida. It's pure life, man. We, You want the same thing I do. I guarantee it. When it, when the, when the, Rubber meets the road, my friend. We want the same thing. I know you're a family man. I'm a family man. I'm, I'm certain. I'm certain. Now we've never sat down and had a coffee together, but I guarantee you, if we did, it would be the same. Yeah, it would be the same. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Now that's that's again really really powerful. The fact that you know after traveling around the world, you the one common thing you've noticed that like everybody wants the same stuff. Everybody's the same. They have the same sort of you know, desires and wants and needs. And, and they, they have like so much in common. They have more in common than they don't, if that makes sense. Oh, like, no doubt. No doubt. 100%. Um, and truthfully, man, um, it's love, man. If you, you just, if you got love in your heart and you got, you can show it through your smile and your face and that, that makes up for a lot of mistakes, you know, and, and people will go out of their way to help you. And I know they have for me. And, and um, this world is good. Like, let me just say that again. Like, this world is good. Mm. Yeah. Trust me. Mm. That's powerful, man. That's really powerful. Guys, if you're watching this, you know, remember, this is coming from somebody who's actually been there, done that. He's traveled to 27 different countries at this point, and he's actually met so many different people from so many different cultures. And this is coming from somebody who has, you know, got hardcore concrete experience of meeting those people, spending time with them, sitting down with them, you know, sharing their lives, sharing their news, sharing their stories, etc. So, you know, the fact is, it's true. Like, if you pay attention to the news, you do get a lot of negative because that's what the news concentrates on. But there are more good people in the world than there are bad people in the world, okay? But if you just focus on, yeah, if you just focus on that small group of bad people in the world, like, it just seems like everybody's bad because that's where the focus is. So you need to, you know, actually go and travel for yourself and experience the world for yourself before you start to make any of those kind of judgments. That That's the only advice I will give you. Um, I've not traveled as much as Jeremy. I've traveled to a few countries and it's absolutely true. Like, you know, the people I meet are absolutely amazing. And, and I've, I, you know, even if I haven't traveled, but I definitely am connected to lots of people uh, around the world, from Canada, from New Zealand, from Europe, from Asia, from, you know, um, United States. And, you know, it's, it's, it's the same thing. Like, you know, we all come together and we all you know, try to help each other and lift each other up. And we're also part of the, you know, same online community and other communities as well, where people come together to just literally help each other out um, and share their knowledge and experience and ideas and skills and, you know, all this kind of stuff, just, just so they can, um, they can, they can be together and, and kind of, you know, collaborate around a certain cause. Um, so it's, it's really, really powerful. And, and uh, yeah, Moonshot, absolutely. Moonshot Experience, guys, go check it out. That's the community me and Jeremy are both part of. It's awesome. It's the former Inside Quest Exchange Group. Uh, it's been rebranded to Moonshot Experience. Go check it out on Facebook. World class, okay? Nothing less. Awesome. Cool. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's, let's talk about the fact that I know you said that one of the main drives that you have in your life is your daughter, which is, again, so sweet, yeah. so powerful so beautiful and um i think my, my question to you would be like with everything that you're trying to do with everything that you're doing you know in terms of your actual job in terms of your um you know tallahassee adventure club in terms of your new business uh, and everything else that you that you're involved in what kind of legacy do you want to leave behind for her okay so first of all like We've talked about like all the like great things and things I've created and places <laughs> I've been. All yeah. that is BS. All that is doesn't doesn't mean right. a okay. darn thing if that little girl is hungry mm. or that little girl needs daddy to play with that Barbie. You know, like you know, like <laughs> it like I am a dad first and foremost. Like before I am anything else, I am the father of Taylor McKee Rogers. And that is that is the business. That is the I'm the peanut butter, and she's the jelly, baby. I mean, that is 
I love that. That is what it is. <laughs> Beautiful. That is what it is. That's what it will always be. That's why if you see like one of these videos that I make, I'm, I always bring a picture of her uh, with me and I always make a, um, a video and a dedication, some sort of life lesson. And then yeah. um, so that when she gets married, she'll see, um, I'll give that video to her on, on her wedding day of you know, me traveling the world. And, 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 you know, like you can, you know, like you say, you know, the, you know, you're the sum of the five, you know, people that you surround yourself yeah, with. And yeah. that's a very popular thing. And, and I agree with that as well. And well, um, you know, I've got to be, I've got to be that for her. You know, I have to, um, I have to, I have to plant that because I didn't have that. Like nobody, nobody really showed up. And, yeah. and the people that did show up, they quit, they gave up, they moved on. Yeah. You know, I wasn't, they left me for, for the world to eat me up and it was either sink or swim i'll be damned if i do that for her now um i'm thankful for that and i'm i'm so glad that that's the way that i came up because this is how i am today but um my mission is to um provide an environment for her to thrive in mm -hmm. right and believe you me buddy she will have some adversity i mean there is no question um, and I will create some of that adversity for her. <laughs> <laughs> nice, I love it. I love it. We just had our first. Uh, we just had our first uh, real conversation. She asked me. She said, "Dada, you know, the other day, you know, she stays with me on this big bed, and um, King size bed. So nice. I love my bed. And um, you know, she sleeps with me. And and she rolled over and she said, "Dada, when am I going to get my big girl bed?" And I just looked at her and I said, "When you're 18." <laughs> 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 so uh, yeah, there's yeah. that. I mean, my kid, he's uh, ooh, man. I don't even. Yeah, I, yeah. she's wow. so funny, kind, special. Awesome. She's it, man. She's how I'm gonna change the world. She is 100 percent of the reason hmm. that I. I mean, nobody in your life will you have more positive impact on than your own child. Yeah. You know, that's a huge responsibility. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> absolutely. a lot of work too absolutely yeah yeah of course that that's that's kind of like part of the territory right that is break down <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah that's part of the territory um but you you touch up on some really really amazing stuff there and um, the fact that you know you're right you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with and you know if you want your kids to have the best start in life then you start off by making yourself world class you make sure that you yourself are world class and it starts by you know your personal development working on yourself it's about improving yourself and you know surrounding yourself with you know some of the uh, best people that you can surround yourself with so you can then become the best version of yourself so you can present that best version of yourself to your children every single day uh, and i absolutely believe in that that's really really powerful i love it and also the fact you 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 also said that you know, you want her to thrive, but you're going to provide some adversity. And that was, I think maybe for some people that were just like, what? It doesn't really make any sense, but it absolutely makes sense because without effort, without hard work, without adversity, you can't grow, right? And that's like, mm -hmm. you, you, you will be kind of stuck in that fixed mindset, okay? Where you label, uh, where you attach labels to your level of ability, where your level of ability or your attributes get judged. But if you want to grow and you want to become the best version of yourself, you want to, you know, have the this sort of, you know, uh, legacy that you want to leave behind or the world class impact that that you want to have, then you really need to have a growth mindset, and it only comes through putting effort in, doing the hard work. Um, and you know, get, getting getting that growth in, getting that results in. So yeah, that was really powerful as well, man. I um, I, I really I really like that. That was really beautiful. That was really really beautiful. Awesome. Yeah, I had this um, trainer in high school that would. He was so brutal, man. He was he was just he was just hardcore, but he was super with it. Like he knew the science of of your injuries and things like that. Mm. And man, when you get crushed or something playing football or wrestling, he he walk over to you casually. Mm. Nobody would run to. Um, and I, I was a little guy, so I was always getting crushed and he would, you know, he would look over and, um, he, he would say, are you injured or are you hurt? Mm. And, uh, and you know, there's a difference there, right? If you're injured, you can't, you know, all right, we're going to, 
we're going to fix you up. We're going to take you out of here. We're going to, you know, kiss your boo boo. And, you know, but if you're hurt, you can still get your butt up mm. and get out there and learn something. Don't do that again. Right. You learn. Yeah. You got to learn here. Love it. And get yeah. back out there, you know, yeah. and dust yourself off. We're not going to dust you off, you know, right now. Like you got a job to do, get up mm. and go do it. Mm. And that might sound hardcore. Um, but she'll have to learn um, some of those lessons. You know, are you injured? Mm. Are you hurt? Mm. I love it. That's really amazing, man. That's really, really powerful. I love it. I, I think uh, I'm gonna write that down. That's gonna be that's gonna be one of my quotes from now on. Are you injured or are you hurt? I love it. That's really powerful, man. That's beautiful. Um, and yeah, for by the way, just just for to make it clear for the people who are watching this. You know, providing adversity in your children's life does not mean that you actually are horrible to them and you beat them up and you shout at them and all that kind of stuff, okay? It just literally means that you actually provide them with a series of, you know, constructive challenges that helps them expand their thinking and grow as a person. It does not mean that you actually are horrible to your children. Just want to make it super clear at this stage in case there are people sitting out there thinking like, well, you know, you, what you're saying is wrong. No, what, what we're talking about here is very specific specific and it's about giving constructive yeah. challenges and not being horrible to your children or abusing them or anything like that just want to make that clear awesome it's beautiful a environment. yes provide a growth environment and it's um there's a beautiful quote by javon langford and he says pressure is a blessing having tension having pressure in your life is a blessing because it expands your space and I had never really th thought about it like that, but that's pretty deep. That's really, really deep. And that's what we're talking about here. Yeah, man, you got to uh, you gotta figure it out. You know what I mean? Like you have like when you're in that zone, in that space, like it's sink or swim. And, mm -hmm. and you know, in regards to, um, you know, the world that we live in and the life that, that, that we're talking about now, a little life, um, it's OK to fail. Like it's OK to be hurt. Mm -hmm. Like that's OK. Yeah. Yeah. Get up, yeah. get your little butt up, get back in there, mm. you know, but it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Failure does not define you. Failure mm -hmm. doesn't define you. Right? No. Fail yeah. No. You only fail if you don't try again. And that's another cliche. I hate, I hate those stuff, but it's so true. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 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 No, absolutely. And I, I would. If anybody takes, it's yeah. definitely that, like, yeah. you know, get away from this is, you only fail if you don't try it again. Mm, yeah, absolutely. And I would direct people to uh, the book Mindset by Carol Dweck again for like the zillionth time because that book is absolute gold. Um, I, I totally agree with Tom Bilyeu. It is the most important book in English language. Okay? Like if you haven't read that book, um, you, you don't know anything about life. Like literally, it's that powerful, okay? And the reason I'm able to make that claim uh, is because I've read that book myself and I would highly encourage you guys to go pick up a copy and read it yourself so you can understand why I'm making such a powerful claim. But yes, that book um, is just absolute gold filled with the absolute critical knowledge that you that everyone needs it's not just about who you are where you come from different backgrounds different cultures so it doesn't matter who you are you need that knowledge okay it is super super powerful um and this is exactly what me and jeremy are talking about right now it's about having that growth mindset the fact that you know failure does not define you you don't have fixed traits everything can be learned you can become whoever you want um and it tells oh, yeah. you yeah it tells you everything from you know, how, why relationships fail, um, why businesses fail, why um, actually things like, you know, people fail, like, you know, big celebrities, sports personalities, etc. Um, and it, it, and uh, in education as well, why students and teachers fail, etc, etc. And it's just amazing. That book is, yeah, it, it's probably the most important book in English language. Please go pick up a copy and check it out, guys. It is that powerful. Awesome. Now, I, I also want to touch upon uh, one more thing. The fact that, you know, you said that despite, you know, whatever happened in your past, when people let you down, people, hey. sorry, what's up? Hey, brother, your screen, is, um, your screen is frozen on my end. Oh, is it? Okay. All right. Hold on. We'll, we'll sort yeah. it out. I'll pause it. We'll sort it out. Right, guys, another slight glitch, but we're back. Awesome. Um, 
we were talking about the growth mindset, etc. And uh, I was touching upon the fact that, you know, the fact that you had so much adversity in your life before, where people who were supposed to really care for you kind of let you down. And despite that, you were able to go and, you know, achieve so much and do so much with your life. Can you maybe just um, go a little bit uh, deeper there? Uh, again, I don't, I don't want you to answer any questions that you don't want to. That's absolutely fine if you don't want to answer a question. Um, but I would really just kind of want to, um, you know, expose that mindset that you had that allowed you to kind of move past all those things despite, you know, everything that happened to you. Because I can definitely relate to that. I had a, you know, really terrible childhood as well. And, you know, lots of uh, bad things happened, etc. cetera. Um, but the fact is that I know it takes a lot to get over some of that stuff. Um, and, and sometimes you don't get through everything. You know, things still happen to you, still things creep up, etc. But you're just able to deal with it a lot better. But it only happens by having a growth mindset. So maybe, would you mind just maybe deconstructing your kind of mindset that allowed you to move beyond um, all of that and, and, and uh, work through those things? Yeah, um, and thank you for bringing this up because I really think that this is an area where I can help um, others that come from from this um, this background, first and foremost. Um, okay. All right, buddy. That's what you dealt with. Now what? Mm. You know, like, you got it. Now what? What are you going to do? Are you going to – you still have to wake up. Like, you still need to put your pants on. Mm. You still need to – you know, you still got to put your clothes on. You still got to figure out a way to eat that day. You still got to, um, you know, you still got to go through life. I mean, you're carrying a, you know, a 35 pound backpack, but you still got to, and you, and it's up to you to decide, like, who are you going to be? Mm. Like, are you going to be who your brain is telling you you're going to be? Mm. Because your brain is probably beating you up. I know it. You know it. Mm. Your brain is working against you. You know, but you've got to figure out a way and it takes you take small steps, man. And and you just do small steps. You set a goal. Right. It's like climbing that mountain. You know, nobody climbs that mountain in, you know, an hour. You know, it, it takes a lot of little steps. Right. So that day looks a lot like, all right, like, let's just try to win through breakfast. Mm. You know, let's get through breakfast. You know, what did I do? Did I do my gratitude journal? Did I meditate? Did I um, work out? Did I do a healthy meal? If you do all that, like before breakfast, you're golden, right? Mm -hmm. um, okay, now you made it through breakfast, you know, and you know, you, let's let's get through lunch, right? Have a good, like, have some good workflow, right? You know, then you get after lunch, you know, that and then when go get yourself a tea and, and be proud of yourself, and, and you know what, take take a moment to reflect on on the things that you are grateful for. Um, and then you go home that night, you know, and then you, you know, same thing again, you decompress, you work out, you, um, you meditate, you, um, you, you just, you just get thankful. But, um, the last thing that you want to do is turn towards any sort of, um, substance, you know, um, the, the distractions, the, that sort of thing is um, is the exact opposite of where you want to go. Like you don't want to um, – it's so easy if you come from um, this kind of background <clears throat> to, to get distracted. And, um, man, you just got to find a mission. You know, find a mission and, and then find a, you know, a friend or, or not be afraid to do it alone either um, and set some small goals and just, just be a little bit better than you were yesterday, um, you know. Just be a little bit better. It doesn't have to be exponentially better. You don't have to 10x your day. There's, a, you know, like, man, if it's consistency, stay consistent, dive into yourself and understand that it's okay to fail. You know, you only fail if you don't try again. And that, and that's, and, and not everybody's going to get it, bro. Like not everybody's going to get it. And that's okay too. Like, that's fine. Let the haters hate. But if you, and man, the, the, the turtle, all, and that the turtle in the hair or the tortoise in the hair i've read that book a million times and that hair i never won right that turtle wins every time all right so you just go slow and steady baby and you will win i promise you look at me i'm, I'm proof your proof trust me when i tell you like 
I know. I know. I know it, man. Awesome. Slow and steady, baby. Awesome. There you go, guys. This is Jeremy Rogers coming to you live who just delivered a massive fist of motivation down your throat because you needed it and guess what i definitely needed it i'm fired up i'm ready to walk through walls i hope you are too because this was powerful stuff awesome man thank you so much for that but yeah you're absolutely right it's about taking small consistent steps over time um and it's about making sure that you're a little bit better than the day before and that's all that matters and then eventually it all adds up it all adds up um, and you need to have that growth mindset where you're willing to learn, where you're willing to change as well. If you're not willing to change, then no matter how much you know, other people try, your friends, your family, people who care about you, etc., it, it, it doesn't matter. Um, it, it, you, you're not going to change. So the only way change happens is if you want to change and then you start to take slow, small, oh, steady God, steps man. towards it. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You got to just decide. You got to decide. This is who I'm going to be and this is how I'm going to get there. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Awesome stuff, man. That's beautiful. Uh, thank you for sharing that. Okay. Now, I want to, um, again, kind of go in a different direction with, uh, with the next question. And, um, <laughs> I it's- love it. I love it. Bring it on, baby. Awesome. Love it. I'm, 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 I'm loving the fact that you have so much energy and you're still fired up about it after a whole hour. Ready to go. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so what advice would you want to give someone who might be actually thinking about traveling um, and are kind of inspired by your story, but they're just not quite sure if they can do it? Yeah, uh, my first piece of advice would, would be some, bring some anti-diarrhea pills. Um, <laughs> real advice right real advice concrete advice, the best advice I'm gonna give you that's the best that love is it. gonna be that's gonna be your best love it okay sorry real I'm advice. Sure you're looking for something a little more deep and impactful but uh, no in all seriousness um, bring those yeah uh, <laughs> definitely bring those yeah no um, you know it. it's this man is is it the world is good the world is good and if if you it's um traveling changes your perspective i promise you this um you're gonna grow and if you want to grow um then then get out of your comfort zone and you don't necessarily have to fly to russia you don't have to get all extreme and climb some mountain you know maybe go to the next town over you know do something different. Maybe um, go and buy a tent, you know, and a sleeping bag and, and sleep outside in your backyard. Just change up your, your surroundings a little bit so you, it gives your brain something else to focus on. Mm. And um, But, yeah, man, uh, the world is beautiful out there. It's so dope. Oh, my God, it's ridiculous. And the people and the food, oh, man, some of the best best food in your life you'll never be able to pronounce what it is it's the best, <laughs> best. Nice. oh my gosh there's the smells and the and, and um, the friends and the and the lifelong friends that you make it's i am oh go go and go for a while go for a while man don't just dabble in it just go go out there and grow and and smile and 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 be chill and if you know, don't buy drugs and hookers. Then you'll be out of you'll be fine. <laughs> Again, real advice, right? Yeah. Awesome. Love it. <laughs> Keep it real. Beautiful. Cool, man. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, there you go, guys. This is coming from somebody who's traveled 27 countries in the world. Um, and he's met loads of people from different backgrounds, different cultures, etc. And uh, he he's just so inspiring. And to be honest with you, I haven't done a lot of traveling in my life. And, you know, I have really been inspired by this this conversation with Jeremy because I really want to go in and travel and explore the world as well. It's always been kind of one of those things I wanted to do, but like I, it, there wasn't that kind of like inspiration behind it. But now I am genuinely really inspired by that. So thank you, man. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Um, okay. Now, do you have 
any practices or routines now you kind of talked about meditation and you talked about you know just a few other things but just to kind of clarify for people do you have any specific routines or practices that you follow uh routinely that allow you to actually have that kind of mental toughness to go and tackle those big challenges yeah i'm a dad well, <laughs> <laughs> that's day in and day out, baby that's nice. <laughs> Nice, <laughs> and if, and I'm a good dad too, you know. So if you're a, if you're a good dad, like you'll all the good fathers out there will know, like that takes work, like yeah. that's mental, physical, that's that's everything. But no, I think yeah. what you're asking is, um, is this? Um, you have to take care of you. Yeah. you. Have to take care of you. All BS aside, and uh, we get caught up in so much of doing things for other people and and um you know our work and then maybe it's the goal that we committed to or whatnot but like the most at the end of the day like you have to protect the the temple you know like that's mind body and and your spirit so for me um it's what you know what kind of food am i eating Mm. um did i meditate um and i'm not talking about all the weird type of meditation like there's some really cool like none you know not a hocus pocus like it's 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 just it's so dope. Like and once you learn how to do it, like you'll thank me forever. Um, and working out, um, that kind of thing, and and putting a filter, right? Um, putting a filter on your eyes, like limit the newspaper and the media and the trash TV, the yeah. reality stuff. Like yeah. um, really focus, and all of that needs to be like done before breakfast, right? So. Um, Try to work out. Try to eat well. Try to meditate. Um, don't try. Do that. Mm. If you can do all that before breakfast, like you're gonna be good. Like that's gonna set you up for success, right? So you're not stumbling into the, you know, and in, into your day. And and again, like if if you can just do that for seven days, like just focus on like what you do before breakfast. Mm. You know, just do that, and then and then build on that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very, very, I'm big on gratitude. I'm super big on meditation and working out and, um, and diet. Nice. Diet. Yeah. Loving Uh, others too. Just love the shit out of people, man. Like genuinely do stuff for people and don't expect anything in return. Like that's, that's that you want to know what gets me high, man. I don't need drugs like, or I just help somebody, man. And don't ask for anything in return. Hmm. Start doing that. Yeah. You want to make a ton of money. You want, you want to be rich and famous and all that. Help more people than just start helping people, and the and the and the chips will fall into place. Like it. Trust me. Trust me. Just please trust me on that. Just start helping people Thanks. and expect nothing in return. Love it. Love it. Awesome, man. That's uh, that's good advice. That's really solid advice. On top of all the other solid advice you've dropped on us, <laughs> <laughs> this was this was be- beautiful. Awesome, great stuff, man. Um, okay, so can you maybe talk to us a little bit about the Tallahassee Adventure Club um, and uh, what it's up to and what are the plans for the future? Yeah. So um, again, like the Tallahassee Adventure Club is an outdoor leadership skill school um, that provides experiential learning classes. So we do like backpacking, rock climbing, um, nice. um, sailing, kayaking, um, any sort of adventurous activity. We take a leadership approach. We try to get you out of your comfort zone a little bit, mm. teach you um, about the environment while you're in this in this class, and the money that we receive um, that we receive we turn right back around and we have these community initiatives right? and they look a lot like, um, and those community initiatives are always for children ages six to 10. Okay. And, um, we take them on a fully funded, um, sponsored camp out, you know, like they, um, if you and your child show up to one of our initiatives, um, you get a free three man tent, you get two sleeping bags, you get an air mattress, you get headlamps, you get meals. Um, and you get this full on cultural experience that we dial up for you. That is just, um, because I mean, our, our whole point is like, why would we teach you how to go camping and, um, plant that seed in your head and then say, Hey, you know, see you later. Uh, um, you know, hope, hopefully you can afford to do this someday. And, and um, you know, man, we want to make sure that we teach you and you have the stuff, um, to do it again and, um, and plant those seeds, man. And that's what we're all about is we want, we want to show Tallahassee and the world for that matter um that we love the earth and we love others and um our our slogan for the 
Tallahassee Adventure Club is just be nice to people and play outside. And, and that's that's our mission, man. Brilliant. Awesome, man. That's great. Um, and this is, uh, again, so powerful, the fact that you are, you know, not just giving them the experience, but you're actually leaving them with something uh, afterwards where they can go and actually, you know, repeat that experience themselves and really, you know, driving it, driving it home there. I love that. That's beautiful, man. Um, and that's fantastic, especially, you know, kids at that young age, I think they, they can really benefit from, you know, not being around that environment where they have their TV or the game console or the tablet or the phone or whatever else next distraction they have. Um, and it's really great to just, you know, get them out and about and experience the world, experience the nature. So you're doing some great stuff out there, brother. Uh, really, really <coughs> powerful stuff. And, uh, you know, all the best to you and, uh, and your team. And um, I, uh, I think, you know, we, we've kind of gone over an hour now. I'm really kind of conscious of your time as well. Uh, and I know, you know, you, you probably want to return to your little one. But uh, uh, just a few kind of like rapid fire questions, if you don't mind, at the end. And then we'll wrap up. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. So question number one. If you were uh, allowed to go and speak to five million people on a stage, what one message would you deliver? Just five million? I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> you can make it. 50. I'm just kidding. You can no, make it fifty million if you I, want. You know, I would. I mean, I would. I would tell them this. I mean, if, if if I only got if I only got a few seconds to tell them, I would say, guys, love each other, mm. and and help each other. Beautiful. Love each other and help each other. Mm. And if somebody falls, pick them up, man. Pick awesome. them up. Love each other. Help each other. That's what I tell them. Powerful, man. Powerful. Really powerful. Awesome. Love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Just just love each other. Yeah. Beautiful, man. Cool. Okay. All right. Uh, another one. If you were deserted on a desert island for a whole year, but you were allowed to choose like any three people in the world that you can take with you, except friends and family, which three people would you choose and why? Um, okay, um, Martin Luther King, um, Teddy Roosevelt, and John Muir. So Martin Luther King, because he's a badass, um, and he did, like, for the African American community in, in my country, um, he just, he did, I mean, he paid the ultimate price. I mean, he, he passively um, changed the world he's he changed the world and that by loving people and um and so uh teddy roosevelt uh, was like a it was like a real man right you know like he's the one that's going to help feed us when we're on this island like, he's <laughs> definitely going to shoot everything um so you need to have that guy right like yeah. the total sportsman yeah. right um and he was a president he was kind of rough around the edges but he loved um the earth and the environment and he really wanted to protect it and so he's the founder of our national park system um and john muir because john muir was like the real sciencey guy he's the one that um really um uh he's like basically yosemite national park is because of him um he was like you gotta have you gotta have like the nerd in the group right like you have to have there's somebody has to be like the smart one it's not yeah. gonna be me yeah. it's probably not gonna be mlk we know it's not gonna be the hunter uh, we gotta have the smart guy because he's gonna be able to figure out a way that we can you know what tree we can cut down, what tree we can't. Um, he was just super inspiring. No. And nice. I didn't mean to say that Hunter smart, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Awesome, man. Okay. Uh, one last question. There's a quote that says, happiness is a choice. What does that quote mean to you? Every day, man. Every day. Like I said earlier, who are you going to be? Mm. You got to decide who you're going to be today. You know? And be that, try to be that, try to be a little bit better than that guy tomorrow. You know, and, and most days you're not going to feel like it. Yeah. You're just not. It's, um, you know, and I'm here to tell you, you know, I've, I've got the car, the degree, I've got all that. I've, I've got it all, man. But it's, it, it you've got to, you got to choose, man. you got to choose. Mm. And um, today I choose to be a badass. And so I will tomorrow. Nice. I got somebody counting on me, man. That little booger back there is counting on me. I got to be. 
<laughs> yeah. <Get out> me. <laughs> awesome. I love it. I absolutely love it. That's beautiful, brother. Well, thank you so much for be here, being here with us. Can you just tell us where people can go to learn more about you and the Tallahassee uh, Adventure Club? And uh, just uh, maybe, maybe you can uh, tell people also how they can get in touch. Yeah, um, you could just reach out um, to me directly on Facebook. It's Jeremy Rogers, R-O-G-E-R-S, or you could go to um, our uh, Tallahassee Adventure Club um, on Facebook. Um, you could reach out to me uh, via Instagram, and it's JB underscore Rogers 84 is my handle. Um, we're on Twitter. Uh, we're on all the social spaces. If you just look for Tallahassee Adventure Club, or if you look for Jeremy Rogers, R O G E R S, or if you want to donate, um, you can also go to our website. It's uh, www.tallahasseeadventureclub.com. Um, we will definitely be great stewards of your money, and we will do phenomenal things. You will see nothing but returns from your investment. I promise you. I promise you. And um, just love each other and help each other, friends. Like that's the truth. Absolutely. Love it, brother. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Guys, if you've been watching this, then, you know, this conversation has brought so much value to me and I'm sure it's brought absolutely tremendous amount of value to you as well. Um, you know, Jeremy just, you know, he, he is like the Steve Rogers of modern day, right? He is the Captain America. He is, you know, actually going and changing people's life and making an impact. And that's what Captain America is really all about. That's what his story is all about. That's what his legacy is all about. So to me, Steve, you know, Jeremy Rogers is the Steve Rogers of modern day. Um, and uh, I really highly encourage you guys to go and reach out to him. Just start a conversation, say hi, and just, uh, you know, whatever kind of resonated with you from this conversation. Just, um, you know, use that to start a conversation. Just, just say hi. You know, I, I, I saw your, you know, interview and, uh, you know, what you said really resonated with me, etc. Or, you know, I'd like to know more about this, whatever. Just start a conversation. And he is doing such amazing work with the Tallahassee Adventure Club that he started. And uh, I would really also encourage you guys to go and make a small donation, whatever you possibly can. Um, you know, it's, it's not about, you know, the millions. It's about, you know, the little... Uh, thing that you can do which will make the difference and remember this is yes. a great initiative and it is going to you know make positive impact in the people's lives so i would highly encourage you to go and check out you know um the Tallahassee Adventure Club everywhere on social media and Jeremy as well. All the links, all the actual uh, handles will be below in the description of the video. Please go and check that out. And finally, as always, thank you so much for actually spending this time with me. As always, I really, really appreciate it. And uh, you know what? Let's let's make this official. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go down below, hit the subscribe button. Do it. Yes, do it, do it. Okay, just do it. All right, just freaking do it because guess what that's the best way that we can start a relationship we can actually stay in touch and remember don't forget the calendar invites that link is going to be below in the description as well you can actually book a 15 minute session one to one with me where we can talk about anything you want to talk about we can actually you know go into any sort of detail you can ask me any questions and i will try my best to help you and it's completely free i'm not you know charging you for my time um, I'm just doing this simply to actually get to know you a little bit better, to kind of know what kind of challenges you're having, to celebrate your victories with you, but also to try and help you wherever I can uh, in your life. So please feel free to reach out, go there, book your actual slot right now. I would uh, look forward to actually connecting with all of you. And uh, once again, Jeremy, thank you so much, brother. You dropped a tremendous amount of value. Love to have you back for another round two sometime. And uh, all the Let best with your business, brother. <coughs> Sorry. Angles. Awesome. Well, <laughs> as always, guys, stay awesome, hustle hard, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care and thank you. Bye. Peace. See ya.